Hey what's up guys, it's Moogle Lord here and I'm back again with another video and today I want to talk about another uh, Eastern title that many people are looking forward to actually playing and that game is called Crimson Desert which is made by the same studio named Pearl Abyss. They was the ones who developed the game called Black Desert which is a free to play MMO uh, action RPG that's really really doing good and it's been around quite some time and I'm definitely going to actually dive into that game sometime soon but i digress um during gamescom 2023 they have actually shown off some gameplay of the game since people have been wondering and speculating where have it been it just disappeared but now it had popped up and i must say man this game look nuts <laughs> so before we dive into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button that notification bell for more gaming content here on this channel so we're going to dive into this now I don't know what's been going on. It's just been, it just seemed like it's just been the rise of Korean studios, Chinese studios when it comes to developing games. We are so used to seeing Japanese developers de develop games, but now we're starting to see a lot of Korean studios and Chinese studios diving into the arena, just tipping off their hat and say, hey, let's show you what we can do. And we have seen it with upcoming projects uh, such as, like I said, Zenless Zone Zero, Project Mugen, uh, we have, of course, Black Desert. Uh, we also have uh, Stellar Blade that's supposed to be coming out. And I'm waiting for a release date on that. And then now we have Crimson Desert. And we also talked about from what Nexon has been um, uh, producing when it comes to the First Descendant. So there's a lot of these studios that's, that's from the East that's not Japanese that has really been kicking ass in terms of visual, quality, aesthetics, and everything. And Crimson Desert looks to be no different. So I wanted to go to the, to the PC Gamers website to actually just break down um, what we know of the game. Because as far as we're concerned, we still don't have even a, a release date. But we were showing a trailer of what this game could potentially do. Like, it looks incredible. So we're going to dive into it. So what we have from what we know about Crimson Desert so far. So now when it comes to this game... The game has no official release date yet, and it says here that Crystal Desert doesn't have a release date. It was originally expected to release in winter 2021, but Pearl Abyss announced a delay in July 2021, um, establishing a tentative late 2023 release date window in quarter 3 2022 earnings presentation. So considering we're entering late 2023 as of this writing without a release date timeline update, it's probably safe to expect that we won't be seeing Crimson Desert this year. As always, we can only speculate about the release date until an official announcement. So if anything, um, we have shown off the trailer, which I'll have the trailer play as I speak, as I read during this article. They have shown off so much. And because they have shown off so much, I believe that they're so far in development that we could possibly see a 2024 release date window maybe like mid to late 2024 and at the latest early 2025 that's what i would say so as i digress crimson desert re-emerged into the spotlight with a gameplay trailer of at gamescom um night uh um opening night in it ending its three-year streak of pr silence and that's another thing um with this game this game has been totally silent um because three years ago, I remember seeing the trailer and I thought for a fact that this was Crimson, uh, it was Black Desert. I, I thought for there was going to be some type of an expansion and everything. But once we saw Crimson Desert, um, this game had let us know that, hey, this is a totally different title. And then ever since they shown off um, that little teaser that they have, we have seen nothing else of the game and just pure silence. Kind of like what we have been experiencing with Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Let's continue. So, um, not only that, this game is not a Black Desert sequel. It was originally planned to be a Black Desert prequel, but developers at Pearl Abyss have since suggested that it's not especially connected to Black Desert, and instead it's its own standalone IP, which shares some of the same themes. We know that uh, we know then that it's not directly linked to Black Desert story, but they may share the same universe or they're completely, completely different. So this is all speculation as far as if they're connected or in the same universe. So there's still no story yet. We don't really know anything about the story, 
but when you look at the combat we have seen the combat we start to see similarities with black desert and also um crimson desert we start to see similarities there and these titles are known to be more of a medieval especially if you guys don't know about these um these titles uh it focuses on medieval so it has more of that uh european or western fantasy that you would find in like dungeons and dragons um and stuff like that um and they pretty much just up the ante with this and when i look at this it kind of reminds me of dragon's dogma that's made by capcom and it's, it's just something about japanese developers when they take a european uh, a fantasy or a western style fantasy um genre and then they add their own twist to it and they develop and if for some reason it seemed like it's a lot better it seemed like it's a lot going on and oh my god <laughs> crimson desert man just looking at the visual and just looking at them and their approach to the European or I guess you would say Western fantasy RPGs this thing has a lot of it be I, I would say that in terms of visual aesthetics and just overall quality it just looks nuts so um as far as it whether or not it's going to be a multiplayer or single player well it appears that Crimson Desert is definitely breaking away from its MMO pedigree with Black Desert Online Pearl Abyss has confirmed that Black Desert will be a single player game. However, in earlier interviews and press release closer to the game's reveal had mentioned online elements without any specifics. Crystal Desert latest appearance at Gamescom didn't mention anything of any online features or multiplayer elements. So it's unclear at this point whether Pearl Abyss is still planning on adding or including any online features. So for now, it's safe to say that it's just primarily a single player experience. So what else can you do in Crimson uh, Desert's gameplay? So what was showing off that there's lots of melee combat, primarily involved in sword fighting, but also featuring a lot of pro wrestling style grappling, which you don't really see in a lot of these type of fantasy themed um, games. They got tavern arm wrestling, top, uh, toppling an entire watchtower tower in combat, horse riding, horse or archery, horse taming, horse drifting, sheep um, wrangling, wagon hijacking, uh, hostage re re rescue, buying, co buying, cooking ingredients, so presumably cooking is added into the game, fishing, mushroom gathering, dog petting, cat um, cuddling, so playing a pipe while leading a, uh, a procession of small void sprites, piloting a hot air balloon, entering a magic portal to the other world of geometric light forms, puzzles, and floating islands. And when I talk about the floating islands that we need to talk about here is that it reminds me of what we have seen in, of course, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's like this game encompasses everything that you would see in an open world game and then more. And the fact is that you can go to other worlds, there are different puzzles that you're able to tackle and it seemed like this game just went from a simple like fantasy game to like a crazy over the top fantasy game where you're skydiving you're flying in the air it just looked nuts it it, it it looks like type of those these type of games right here it's like when it comes to this game it seems like i believe it when i see it I believe it when it released because this game does seem too good to be true that it would actually release you know for us to play that's how good this game look it just seemed like hey they're just probably trolling us this game is probably a scam or something like that but no these guys are legit black desert people love it so the fact is that they're coming out with another game and it's single player on top of that it's a single player experience so i definitely want to see uh, how they are approached to single player since they've been known for Black Desert, which is an actual MMO multiplayer online RPG um, that many people love. So it's for them to go in the single player direction, I'm quite curious to see how this will all um, develop over time. And I'm looking forward to see more of the, the character creation because Black Desert has a crazy ass uh, character creation. So I, I assume that in this game, Crimson Desert will probably have the same experience when it comes to the intuitive, robust um, character creation 
um, that they're known for. So I'm looking forward to that. But man, I'm not really too much into open world games. But the fact is that these guys are really pushing the envelope when it comes to this. And just looking over at how the main character is sitting on his horse and just looking over at the terrain is like, yo. So I can travel to all those locations that I see, like like on the map. That is ridiculous. So I can see that there's going to be a ton of of exploration ton of content to be found in this game and i can only imagine that there will probably be some dlc later on down the lines that add more to the experience and wow like this game is looking phenomenal and the fact is that we're starting to see more developers from the east that isn't from japan um that's actually starting to produce some games and these games are just looking phenomenal so that pretty much essentially wraps this up we don't really have any idea and as far as we know right now this game is only going to be released on the pc and there and i see why they don't want to be held back on any of the potential possibilities of what you can do in this game could we get a console release sometime in the near future possibly i mean black desert was made it to consoles and i don't see why not but for the fact is that they're only mentioning pc for now is the fact is that these guys really want to be pushed the envelope and don't even want consoles to hold them back from what they want to give the players in terms of an immersive experience so that wraps this video up definitely giving me your thoughts in the comment sections below how do you feel about crimson desert and have you ever played black desert which is something that i want to get into i had bought the game on a steam sale like about maybe like two or three years ago it was and i never got around to installing it so maybe i'll have to pop that open sometime and actually play some black desert make a video about it and maybe even it, it may interest you guys to actually want to give the game a try yourself so if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button for more gaming content here on this channel this is moogan lord sign off i'll see you game fiends later peace out